Remember Doc and Tante Dup, who came and baked pancakes at my house? Well, I'm off to Harlem to visit Tante Dup. While enjoying the trade night, let me throw a few facts and figures at you. I won't bore you with too many details, just a little bit, just to make it interesting. Harlem has a rich history, dating back to pre-medieval times, as it lies on a thin strip of land above sea level known as the Strandwall, or Beach Ridge, which connects Leiden to Alkmaar. Harlem is located on the River Sparne. It is situated about 20 kilometres west of Amsterdam and near the coastal dunes. Harlem has been the historical centre of the bulb growing industry for centuries and bears its other nickname, Blumestadt, or Flower City, for this reason. By the 12th century, it was a fortified town and Harlem became the residence of the Counts of Holland. As the train pulled into the station, uh, it was a mystery to me as to where I would meet up with Tante Dup. So I made my way to the main entrance and um, lo and behold, there was my hostess for the day. And after a cheery hello, it's good to see you, it was time for coffee. Traditionally, ordering tea or coffee always provides you with a biscuit, despite you still ordering something nice to go with your coffee. There was lots to see to discover. Tante Dup lived for many, many years in Harlem and she was the perfect guide. So come on, let's have a walk around. In its early days, all the city buildings were made of wood and fire was a great risk. In 1328, nearly the whole city burnt down. The St. Bavo Carrick was severely damaged and rebuilding it would take more than 150 years. The St. Bavo Carrick is a reformed Protestant church and former Catholic cathedral located on the Central Market Square. First mention of a church on this spot was made in 1307. But the wooden structure burnt in the 14th century and the church was rebuilt and promoted to chapter church in 1479 and only became a cathedral in 1559. It was indeed time for a candle and a few moments in deep thought for all those that could do with a little bit of extra help. We'd had a brilliant day, lovely weather, and certainly the company was awesome. So I just want to show you the inside of the main hall of the railway station before I took the train home. The station opened on September the 20th, 1839 on the Amsterdam-Rotterdam railway, the first railway line in the Netherlands. It is the only train station in the Netherlands that is built in Art Nouveau style. The station building itself is a national monument. Leiden is a university city and has been since 1575. It has been one of Europe's most prominent scientific centres for more than four centuries. So um, here I am in Leiden with my friend and neighbour, Murray. Leiden is known as the place where the pilgrims, as well as some of the first settlers of New Amsterdam, lived, operating a printing press for a time in the early 17th century, 
before their departure to Massachusetts and New Amsterdam in the New World. Last year, there was a most interesting documentary on television regarding the pilgrims and their story, and it really did um, it really did spark interests for me to want to know more. So a visit to Leiden was on the cards. Leiden is a city with a rich cultural heritage, not only in science, but also in the arts. One of the world's most famous painters, Rembrandt, was born and educated in Leiden. Did you know that? Leiden was formed on an artificial hill, today called the Burcht van Leiden, at the confluence of the rivers Oude and Nieuwe Rhein, Old and New Rhine. In the oldest reference to this, from 860, the settlement was called Leithon. time for this evening, so it's good night from me. And it's good night from him. Good night. Good night. Good night.